Hello friends, myself Nitin Pandit, I'm Microsoft MVP and I'm just going to show you a first look of Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 RC. So that was actually uh, announced by Microsoft yesterday. So I'm going to make a first look of video. So just please try to stay tuned with me and I'll show you the all new benefits of Visual Studio 2017. You can use them into your projects and you can make your project. It's too, it's too easy. So first of all, if we need to install this Visual Studio around Visual Studio 2017, so we need to download it. So just type the URL into your browser. It's visualstudio.com. When you go that URL, let me go that. Let me go there first. It's visualstudio.com. You can little scroll your page. You'll get a link Visual Studio 2017 RC. Just click on it. It will redirect your page on a domain where you can see all the new benefits where Microsoft updated the previous Visual Studio that in Windows, Web and Cloud, Mobile and Gaming and also other tools. Below there you can get three links. From there you can download your Visual Studio by three editions. It's Community, Professional and Enterprise. I'll recommend you should download this. When you download or you click to download button it will give you a file that is visual studio enterprise exe you need to click double click on it it will automatically start a downloading process and installation process as well into your machine i have already but let me show you some kind of steps from where you have to download okay it take a few minutes to redirect on installation page from where you can basically select the additional tools which you want to be work on your visual studio so just to wait till the time it's working Or let till the time let me show you some kind of a step from where you can directly read this and I'm just going to giving the link of my this new article on this uh, video you can directly go there and after that you will get a window from where you have to select all the plugins or tools which you can select to install like I'll select on dotnet desktop application development and as well web development when i'll click ok so it will automatically inst start the installing process i believe it's going to take more than one minute after this process actually we'll get going to get two options a modify or launch a modify if we need to add more plugins or tools into my visual studio so we have to click on modify and if i just want to start my visual studio so we can go to launch so suppose if i just want to add a new behavior that was i already show you in web and cloud that is python development so if i need to add that plugin to so i can directly click on modify it will give me option to add uh, let's see it's started on this screen see I'm actually already having Visual Studio that's why it's giving me option direct modify so suppose if I click here modify so it will gives me new options to add more if you want to add more so you can click on modify let's see I'll already have dotnet application development and web application development suppose if you need to add Python 2 so you can directly click here and after that you have to submit but I'm already uh, using Visual Studio 2017 that's what's uh, showing me an error message which is currently running close all instances but I'm not going to close you have to make sure your instance should be closed before your installation process should be running okay so finally you have to click there after the clicking process it will be gives the option which is launch 
when you click on launch it will directly start your visual studio very first time okay on very first install installation it will going to give you a sign up option where you can sign up with your any microsoft account after that you have to select uh, your development setting it could be c sharp it could be visual basic or you can be select by default as general okay and after that you have to select your choose your color and theme uh, you can select any which you feel comfort now at last finally just click on start visual studio when you click it you're going to get a default screen of visual studio let's see look like that so if suppose i'm going to use this screen so there will be all are uh, like uh, same behaviors as previous visual studio 2015 but there are little changes in my project solution so let me create a project first so that i can show you what the changes are suppose i'm going to create a new project so you have to go again same as visual studio 2015 either you have to create websites and projects suppose i'm going to create a project the same thing you have to select your language first as other previous visual studio like i'm just going to select visual c sharp or visual basic else whatever you want i'm going to use windows classic classic application development okay now you have to select any other kind of templates that you want suppose i let me select for a testing purpose only it's console application 2 suppose it's console test oh sorry test app okay so when you click on okay so it will going to create a project with the solution name console test app it will directly gives you a default program.cs file with a with the uh, containing a void main functions too so this is the same behavior as we are doing in we was doing in visual Studio 15 this is the same behavior we have all the predefined namespaces over here and my same program class as well visual studio 2015 let me close it and let me move to solution explorer let's see what we have in my solution explorer in visual Studio 2017 so let's open your visual to solution explorer view solution explorer and the right side you will get your solution explorer we also have properties reference app config and program.cs file same as it is in visual Studio 15 but here we have a new thing in my solution in visual Studio 2017 like uh, services uh, capabilities so what service capabilities are service capabilities is a direct way to add your azure storage and you can directly use them into your solution without uh, externally adding sdk of azure because it's directly giving you an option to connect with your storage account so if i need to connect so that let me right click on service capabilities and add service capability first it will directly open in a new tab with azure storage if you just scroll your mouse over on the over there so you will get a link uh, you will get a notification like uh, azure storage store and access data with azure storage like blobs queues table and much more so then suppose if you need to call all of them you just click on azure storage if you are already logged in with your microsoft account that have azure sus subscription then you're going to get all the number of lists that you already have in your azure account it could be blob it could be uh, hash it could be table okay any kind of a storage behavior so you're going to get a number of list or the old storage name that you already have into your this azure account so i have a predefined only one so you can use this you can use this one or you can create your new one so you have to give a behavior okay suppose if i'm already have a behavior so i can directly select it and i can add if i'll add so for communicating with azure storage we want some kind of nuget package manager uh, we want a package windows azure storage from nuget package manager so that time it will automatically install all are the references that pre that uh, we want to work on that and uh, all the nuget nuget package manager automatically should be installed in my solution they are the prerequisites to work on windows azure when i'll 
install all the things finally so it will gives me a new file in my solution in uh, sub child you can say of service capabilities that going to be format in json and second change we are going to use which is in my app config file let's see it will directly open a new tab in your browser to i'll tell you what is that so this is install completely now let's go back to solution again now you can see here into a solution you have a new file which is connected services.json in that you have just a link and the version and the type that which storage you are going to use but if i'll move to my solution server explorer and i'll open my app config so in your app config you will see a new item into your app settings collections with app id and basically app a value you can say by which you can store your all azure storage credentials details so that you can you can easily use them into your project so actually this is a new thing that was not provided by visual studio 2015 solution but you can get that into 2017 visual studio so that url was automatically open that actually it just kind of instructions how you can use your storage blob and uh, your tables and all into your asp.net framework so you can basically follow this article if you if you're not aware with microsoft azure storage type so you need to follow this url first then you are able to work here then so suppose if let me go there again to my program dot cs file that was uh, generated by automatically my visual studio suppose i need to use any namespaces over here so we can directly use any namespace or any system uh, static classes like static and system dot console that's it and now you are able to call any behavior from this class like write line and the same program hello that we are creating from a pass of years to start working on a new technology which is hello world to hold my console screen we can just use read function and again the same behavior we need to build my program and after if that program showing me build started after the build started process it will automatically save or it will be succeed if that project will be succeed so we are just going to debug it let it build first successfully slow 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 it's taking little time so sorry for that so now you can see it's build succeeded now just debugger application clicking on start button you can see the output first time in visual studio 2017 it just was a first look of visual studio 17 and we have more changes to sorry for the little out delay for output see this is hello world because my laptop actually having lots of visual studios and those are already working so that's why it's little slow you can say so this is the output we can close it and we can use my project again and we can use any more we have lots of change in new visual studio like if you just want to read all of these changes so either you can follow my article where you can read all the changes that is done by microsoft all the changes and the major or overall changes 
that is done by Microsoft in Visual Studio 2017. Okay, so you can directly follow this URL. You can get down this uh, basically you can write down this URL or else you can uh, you can get this URL into visual uh, sorry my video details on YouTube. So thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for being with me. It's Nitin Pandit again and I'll just want to say thanks again to all of you. It was just a first look of Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 ever. So I'm just going to start a new video series on C Sharp 7.0 on Visual Studio 2017. So thank you so much guys. Thank you so much.